I just realized I'm going back home with nothing. With literally nothing. <laughs> that was the wake up call. That's the time that I realized, my gosh, my life here is an illusion. I have a closet full of clothes, you know, um, bags and shoes, whatever you could think of. I'm happy here, but this could all be gone just a snap of a finger. Hey guys, welcome back to Miss K Chris, and this is Ruth, Miss K Chris. <laughs> And today we are going to do a story time. Okay, today I would like to talk to you about or tell you the story of how I was able to save up money and invest as an OFW. So if that is interesting to you, just keep on watching. Today, uh, I would like to share with you guys uh, how I was able to save up money as an OFW. Um, just a few tips for you guys. If you are now a flight attendant and you want to make sure that you make the most out of it, you just don't spend your money on Louis Vuitton bags and things like that. And this is the video for you. Okay. The first tip that I have is make sure that you have an automatic savings account. So an automatic savings account is something that will deduct your salary and put it in another account which is not accessible through your ATM. <laughs> so I have that arranged with my bank in Oman and yeah, it has been great. So monthly, I don't even have to think about it. I'm already saving money because of that. Uh, aside from, you know, because sometimes when you have your salary, it arrives, you know, you have so many things in mind, what you want to buy or what you want to do, go to a restaurant, go to a resort or go shopping, right? But if you don't have access to that money, which is already transferred to another account, then you will be forced to save it. And I have learned from my 30 years of existence in this world that it doesn't matter how much money you save, what matters most is that you save every single time. So even if it's just a tiny, tiny amount, make sure that it's done every single month or every single salary day it will make a difference it will be big one day so yeah you don't really have to save a lot of money make sure that the frequency that's all that matters when you are saving okay um the next tip that i have for you guys if you want to invest or if you want to be able to do the best you can um get yourself educated Financial education is very important. So this is something that you cannot learn in school. This is supposedly something that your parents are supposed to teach us, but sometimes our parents also doesn't know. <laughs> so we're doomed. <laughs> I'm kidding. So right now, thank goodness to the internet and the so many authors in this field has already come out with their books. Um, the best book that I could recommend is uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad to help you to help you, you know, to help you get financially educated. I would also recommend the cash flow game, which I have right now, by the way, and I am um, hosting cash flow games here in Manila. If you're interested, do contact me and we can organize a cash flow game for you or your organization. And um, by doing that, you're training your mind with the, with the way, you know, how to invest you know the mindset of the rich and things like that because if you you become an OFW you will come with you will happen to have a lot of money right and a rich person is not simply the person with a lot of money sadly <laughs> it's a person a rich person is someone who is abundant abundant in his thinking and no matter where you put him he'll be able to make himself rich it's because it's all in here Right, so that is why um, the emphasis on education is very, very, you know, ingrained in us Filipinos. But sometimes we went after, we go after the different type of education. What we really need is the education, the financial education, and you cannot learn it in school, sadly. So invest in yourself first before you invest in any property because that way you will be able to see if this property is bulok if this property is just gonna drain 
the blood out of you or is this gonna be uh, making profit for you because most of the time sadly Filipinos OFWs become a target of scams a target of uh, you know a bad investment just because we didn't invest in ourselves first so yeah invest in yourself first third probably will be have the courage the moment that you have already educated yourself have the courage to take the first step don't make it to be don't wait for the worst case scenario to happen just like me <laughs> before you do something about it okay don't wait for the worst to happen if you already know that this is the path that you want to take um, go ahead so look for deals this is what I can say start small if you are going to start a business or going to start investing start small like start investing in a stock market 5,000 a month, 10,000 a month, so that if you lose, you won't cry a river over it, okay? So yeah, start small. That's tip number three. And tip number four, um, continue learning. Continue educating yourself. Uh, it's like learning, taking action, adjustment, learning again take action adjustment learning again action adjustment so that's how you go about it beware of peer pressure you don't have to do something if it doesn't make sense to you it has to make sense number wise you know social wise it has to make sense in all different aspects before you take a decision don't be bullied into making a decision just because you have the money na nga, diba? so yeah don't don't um, take harsh actions if you're not sure that it's going to be legit you're not sure if it's going to be profitable so it always has to be profitable and last but not the least always follow your heart and your gut if you think it's the right time for you to invest go for it if you think it's the time for you to still learn about it then still learn about it it's okay there's no shame in that so Every one of us, um, this is not a race. Every one of us will do what we have to do in our own time and space. And we have to respect that, okay? Don't think na, ah, my friend, she's an, a flight attendant. She bought a land, she bought this, she bought that, she bought that. I also have to do it. Don't feel pressure because of that. You will have your own time and space and have to listen to yourself, listen to your heart, listen to your gut. If it's telling you that it's the right time for you to do this, then go ahead and jump and do it okay so yeah i guess that's all my five tips for you guys five epon and investing tips what i did personally is i know um, before i went and become a flight attendant abroad I know what I want. I want to be financially free. I don't know how it will happen, but I have a few ideas. So I've drawn up a different ideas for me. Uh, first one is a business, and the second one will be having a real estate to rent out and having stocks. So when I became a flight attendant, it was easy for me to do the savings first, you know, the automatic savings. That's the first step. And the next thing is, I have no idea. I have no idea about stocks. I have no idea about real estate in the Philippines. I have no idea about business. But I have a lot of money. <laughs> so what happens then is that uh, you might be able to relate to these OFWs who are watching. Whenever somebody is sick, whenever somebody died, whenever somebody got into prison, or whenever some something something emergency can, comes up, I'm the bank. <laughs> I'm the number one person that people will ask help from. So because I don't have a business or I don't have an investment, my money is just there sitting in the bank and I have a very generous heart. <laughs> char then most of the time what happens is that my savings will be blown up paying hospital bills pay um, burials and stuff like that because just because I don't know what else to do with my money it is right and okay to do charity don't get me wrong it's right and okay to be the, the one to help other people if you can help them but in my case I wasn't really that rich, okay? I was just living from paycheck to paycheck and I would have a little savings and the little savings will be gone. And then, kalas, finish, no more. <laughs> that's 
that's a little backstory of my experience. So I started with the stock market. The first step really is to just open yourself up to information and studies like this so that you will learn what's the best strategy to apply to your life, right? So that that's how I applied it to my life. I studied stock market first and every month I will save 10,000 and every month at 10,000 I will put in stock market which I have a hack or Codigo I enrolled in the rich truly rich club wherein you know I don't have to study the stocks anymore I just see the report and they will email me when is the time to buy and when is the time to sell so I just follow instructions from Bo Sanchez and that's it and aside from that that's the first step that's the retirement fund um, the next thing I did to 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 educate myself is uh, I started trying to analyze businesses so I read which that poor dad book one to five I think <laughs> one to five the fourth one is uh, retire young retire rich and the fifth one is about um, we want you to be rich something like that so yeah, I really opened up myself to all these books and all this literature about financial um, liter literacy, financial literacy, and I got some ideas. But the thing is, I don't know how to apply it in the Philippine setting, right? And also this thing where I want to build up a business, but I'm right here. I'm abroad, so I can't be the person building the business. If I wait to earn my capital and then resign and then start a business too risky for me right so i would rather have a business going on while i still have the security of my job so i never really you know i never really never really started a business i just went on the stocks and i kept on reading i kept on learning about anything that i could learn about business and also real estate <laughs> okay so i was also studying about real estate um i enrolled in sir j's class it's the the author of uh, foreclosurephilippines.com so he teaches people how to invest in foreclosed properties but the problem there again was because i'm not in the philippines i see the listings i'm not able to inspect the property negotiate and do things like that so what i did is just enrolled and then try to be familiar with how how it is to buy a property how to make it a positive cash flow you know from the foreclosed property and things like that um, yeah that's 20,000 for the course and it's a lifetime membership so I love it I'm still active in that group but in the end I wasn't able to really look into foreclosed properties because I was just starting out I don't know where to start you know I have no idea so in short I was just learning and learning and learning a lot that was like for about three years of my OFW life I just did stocks and save and earn so after three years something happened in my job I was the I was the subject hmm, of a controversy <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna detail it guys but there was a hearing uh, I became viral <laughs> in the Middle East um, because of a certain dancing challenge that I did <laughs> in my uniform so I almost lost my job guys I almost lost my job and that was the wake-up call all those years of trying to learn how to do this and that there was no urgency for me to really you know start a business invest in things um, so during those times that I was suspended for a week I don't know if I have a job still all my flights are gone I don't have a schedule anymore I don't know if I'll be able to defend myself during the hearing you know I just want to cry and go back home to the Philippines I just realized I'm going back home with nothing with literally nothing <laughs> yes I did a lot of buy and sell gigs here and there and I'm starting this YouTube channel but it really is not enough to sustain me um, you know to sustain me living so that was the wake-up call that's the time that I realized my gosh my life here is an illusion <laughs> that's how I felt my life here is an illusion the house that I'm living in oh my god it's so nice fully air-conditioned I have this 
queen size bed i have a closet full of clothes you know um, bags and shoes whatever you could think of i'm happy here but this could all be gone just a snap of a finger right so it was so bad guys that is the time that i realized and i look at my bank account i thought it was not enough it was really not enough i was so sad but that was a brutal wake-up call for me guys i have to wake up to the reality that everything that is there in my life there is temporary it's not mine it has doesn't have my name on it and i really have to step up my game if i want to you know be financially secure be financially free all those things that i've been studying i have to take action on it now okay so yeah that's what happened after that hearing thank god I got, I know, absuelto kami. <laughs> I was given another chance to continue working, so I did. And this time, I started really, you know, saving up, umping up my savings, and then really being on a lookout for opportunity for myself and being on a lookout for a business and real estate. So in 2016, I started taking bold massive actions <laughs> just because I already know the reality that I really need to invest because after three years of working abroad I have like zero savings this cannot be I really have to do something to change this now so during that time I studied how to do the grab car business I did a few research some of my friends are doing it I look at the numbers how much is the car how much is the possible income and things like that so I decided on investing on a grab car business at that time which is another video guys because it wasn't but anyways uh, all I can say is if you start doing business you really grow a lot I I think I added 10 years to my life after I started that business <laughs> dealing with problems after problems and problems after problems during that time so thank God now we're all okay we're still hanging by the thread we're not we're not over it yet but uh, we're okay we're still living <laughs> we're still breathing but that was such a learning experience guys you know you are outside the philippines but you have to manage your business here in the philippines so it's kind of like nerve-wracking and i also was able to find a property but because it's my first property i invested in a condominium unit i i have a video here on the channel i did a tour and all of that I decided to finally take a risk and invest in a rental property because those are the things that I want for my life I want a business I want a rental property and so my battery died <laughs> okay so what was I saying what was I saying okay yeah so I'm thankful that I found this property from SMDC and I got it in a very good deal I got it on an early occupancy deal so that means the property is already ready for it ready for occupancy i was about to say ready for takeoff <laughs> that's my book by the way guys so yeah um the property is already ready for occupancy so that means i could rent it out so basically what happened is i was able to find this property and i rented it out right away and the renter paid for everything that i have to pay for the <laughs> the property so that's what you call a no money down deal or close to no money down deal and speaking of that if you want to learn more of that uh, I met someone his name is Sir Ronald Kagape I met him from this um, cash flow uh, cash flow game way back in 2007 and he's made an online course about it so I like that it's an online course you can do it you can do you could educate yourself even if you are abroad and I will link it below if you're interested and it, he will teach you about you know finding deals that is a no money down and how to do it you know technically in the Philippines so yeah so I am so lucky that I found this uh, property so every time I have to I have a layover in the Philippines I will go and look at different condos and I will calculate 
you know calculate how much do they need to pay you know when will I get the property and I did my due diligence all of that you will learn from the online course of Sir Ronald and because I was informed and I was able to learn beforehand uh, I was able to make a sound decision and I decided for that property so I really decided that I'm gonna get this property but I'm not gonna live on it I'm gonna rent it out I will do whatever it takes to to have it paid off sa bank all the balance and I just invest on it so that's it um, I wanted to make sure na I have like a solid ground to stand on whatever happens to my career because yun nga, it's a delusion <laughs> I'm there that time but it can be taken away anytime so I felt more secured in myself na I was able to invest in these properties and this business na whatever happens to me by that time I'll be good I have something na something came out of me being an OFW okay even though there's a lot of growing up from that moment on till now I grew I grew up a lot when it comes to mindset um, solving problems you know having the patience you know so being a business person really is not for everybody that's all that I can say being a business person is so different from reading about it and actually doing it <laughs> that's what I can say but in the end guys it's all worth it I feel accomplished I feel safe now no matter what happens I have options okay I'm not tied to one job I'm not tied to to one thing that will help me you know I have a lot of other things that could help me support myself if ever I lose my job so yeah anyway so such a long story guys right and if you are interested again sa workshop ni Sir Ronald Kagape the deal it's called the Dealmakers Institute it's basically based on his book the money no money down deal it's really helpful especially if you are a flight attendant or if you're an OFW it's so I could say it's so much better to have I would have if I have the choice I would have more properties than a business <laughs> kasi mas masakit yung ulo sa business yung properties masakit din sa ulo pero carry boom 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 <laughs> hindi siya kasing sakit sa ulo nung isa okay <laughs> so yeah I should have gotten two properties if I was just if I was gonna do it over again and before you do that, guys, educate yourself. Check out the workshop below. So, yun. Uh, yun. So, that's our video for today. It's a story time. I hope that you guys enjoyed my story, even if it's kind of like all over the place. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if what other type of story time you want me to do on this channel. And I will do it next time. So, that's it for now. Bye, guys. And fly with you soon. Mwah.